Good morning, everyone. It is Adam here. It's uh, 6.30 a.m. Here we go. Hey, guys. Uh, 6.30 a.m. We're doing the Hamster North today. We did this pretty much one year ago, uh, which was going to be... Um, sorry for the cars. Uh, south to north from Canaan, New Hampshire, up to Boundary Pond, Errol, Pittsburgh area. Um, got a new backpack on. It's better for dirt biking, as you can tell. It's an overnight trip, and uh, this is all I'm carrying. So I've got a change of clothes in my backpack with some water, um, tools, tubes, uh, air pump, and I did not bring a battery tender or charger, even though I'm running a lithium-ion battery. This is my first time taking the beta on a long trip. So we're doing, uh, I guess, 300 miles in two days, 350 miles. It's the only way to test this thing is to take it out. I'm doing it with four people, so we'll be um, all together. Um, I should probably close this up now, but pretty much well equipped. It's going to be 38 degrees tomorrow morning when we wake up, so I've got thermals on. And I hope that the beta holds together. All right, guys, let's start our adventure. Alright, well this is uh, as usual me adding audio after the fact, so this is uh, Tuesday now and uh, we got back from the trip on Sunday, so um, I'm just going to talk a little bit actually while we go through this. There's some audio in the background here, but um, I'll talk at random spots just to hop in and say hi to you guys. Alright, we've made it to Dunkin' Donuts, so that's the, uh, got the beta of course. Then we've got uh, the GSA. Man, he looks so comfortable coming up here. He had the heated grips on, cruise control. Just looks <laughs> so comfortable. Then we've got uh, Scott and Scott's dad on the, the KLR and the Versus. And then we've got uh, old Packin' Dirt up here too with me. So this is pretty awesome. He was with us last year uh, on this bike actually. So it's nice to have him along for the ride. But you know, definitely a wide variety of, of dual sports. It's a beautiful day. Mine is definitely the most dirt oriented of all of them. So this is uh, Jim, Jesse, Scott, and uh, Scott's dad. Sorry, I forgot your name. But um, really diverse group. Everyone has um, been riding for 20 years. I've been riding for two. Well, I guess three. This is my fourth year riding, actually, 2019. My fourth season riding. Kids always trying to get me to wheelie. Um, so this is the hamster. I did it by myself in July of 2017 or June. And then I did it with a group in uh, September. The full thing. I did September, the full thing with the same group. And now it's, um, we decided as a group, we love Hamster North. We like riding up to Littleton and then going north from there. That's some of the best roads. <clears throat> You should absolutely do the whole hamster at some point. It's just south of Littleton. It's like this. It's just dirt roads. Uh, and so, yeah, just we just had a fantastic time. Um, first time riding the Beta far away from home. We ended up doing 400 miles in two days. And just absolute blast. The, um, the Beta drank a little bit of oil. It's still inside the sight glass, though. It didn't get below the sight glass. I used like seven gallons of fuel. This does dead end last time I was here. We can try it, but it was a fence last time. It did win. No, I skipped it because three months earlier I went up there and it dead ended. But we can try it. It's only about a mile up before it stops. Well, where's the other alternative? Back to one? Yeah, you take a right, you come down about four miles and hit back in the ATV trail. Oh. Because you can see, once you're really close to the red line again, or whatever line you have it color-coded to, then uh, you'll be able to hop back over. But overall, man, it's it's this is just a fantastic time. So we finally found some dirt, finally. This is uh, Millie's ATV Park, um, just south of Errol. 
and it's a, it's a lot of fun. This is about 17 miles of dirt that you can do here uh, before you have to cut over to Arrow, and it's your last stop for gas, basically. Uh, it, it's like this for a while, but then you get these little nice pockets of mud and sand and dirt. Just a lot of fun. I'll let you guys watch this for a few minutes before we um, come back over to some good stuff. I've done this ride, of course, twice before. The first time was on an 09 GSA by myself, uh, with no in-reach, no way to get home uh, or call home. Second time was on my 17 GSA uh, when I first bought it. So still on the Inaki 3s, no modifications. It's a completely stock bike. Uh, I'd gotten it two or three days prior, and that was my second time doing the hamster, and that was the full route. And this is the third time, and now I'm on a different bike, uh, the Beta 500. I'm, I've never ridden a dirt bike before until I got this one. Well, I sat on a KTM 500 EXC about six months ago and really liked the format. And then I sat on a 690 Enduro R, also liked the format, and I couldn't find one to buy, so I just decided I'm just going to look for whatever I can find used. And this can't be used, so um, you know, it's not a bike, it's not an endurance bike that's supposed to go a thousand miles. I rode it 400, and when I got home, I. Um, my linkage guard was damaged, the spring guard was damaged, uh, the chain was filthy, the oil needed to be changed, the gear oil needed to be changed, there's dirt and grime everywhere, there's left mirror broken, you know, it's just not, you can ride these things, you know, hundreds and hundreds of miles, but it needs constant maintenance, you know, after 200 hours I probably should rebuild the top end, so, something to keep in mind, I'm at, I'm at 70 hours now on the bike. But it, 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 it never quit. It was very reliable this whole time. But I think it's only reliable because you have to take care of it, basically. That's close. There's a subway, too. Yeah, there's a subway, there's gas. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that's why I was worried you'd skip the ATV part when you said go straight to Arrow. I'm like, we have so much time to kill. minutes, uh, 
This next few minutes are my favorite part of the hamster where you're north of Errol and you're riding up to Pittsburgh and Boundary Pond. Uh, this is my favorite leg. Tons of fun. It just gets uh, it gets messy at times, but we had a blast. We took our time. We weren't we weren't trying to beat any records. We left at Littleton at uh, around 10 a.m. Got to Boundary Pond around 4:30 or 5 o'clock with an hour break for lunch. So totally reasonable uh, trip here. Everyone was safe. No one got hurt. Uh, Scott's dad went off road twice, but no big deal. He didn't dump the bike or anything. Look at this. Just awesome, awesome terrain. Also, you'll notice my perfect squeeze iPhone mount here came loose from the anti-vibration guard. So uh, they did uh, promise to replace it for me. So they're just going to replace it. And, and these roads are all possible on the GS. There's no problem. It's just um, doing this on the beta was a lot more fun. And of course, right now, I'm without the GS. So, um, you know, this was uh, just sort of a, you know, I wanted to join the guys, and the beta was the only bike that I had. I'm actually glad I took the beta, because I, yeah, I taught, learned a lot about the bike, and now I realize that I should probably have trailered it up to Errol, and ridden from Errol, as opposed to ridden the whole route. It just would have saved a lot of wear and tear on the motor. Uh, all kinds of things, you know, the counter shaft, um, rear spring, chain, sprockets, uh, air box, you know, fueling, motor, all that stuff gets beat to shit when you're doing this kind of running, but I'm happy ever for it, for, for doing this. And this is my favorite section of the hamster, um, where Scott's dad uh, almost dumped his bike, but didn't quite. He was on a Versus 300, which is actually a twin, which is interesting. It's a twin uh, 300cc engine, so two 150cc cylinders uh, working together. I think it's going to run forever. It's so understressed, but it's pretty low to the ground. So it's a versatile, um, all-arounder sport touring bike, but... Uh, very low to the ground, so he kept bottoming out on rocks. That's what, that was his major issue, I think. But yeah, this is just a super fun section. He goes off-road right there a little bit. Oh, oh there he goes. <laughs> and everyone uh, got it back in there. No big deal. So after this, we came down from the hill, and we had like a little, like a mile or two of um, tarmac before we cut off to the road to Boundary Pond. Supposedly, if we had kept going straight another 15 miles... We would hit the U.S.-Canadian uh, border, the very tippy top of New Hampshire. Next time, we will do that, for without a doubt. Um, this time, we just ran out of time. It was already 5.30, and it was cold. It was getting down to the 50s, so we just cut our day short. But I'll let this play out till we get to Boundary Pond, and then I'll come back.
Well, we made it up to, uh, well, we're pretty far north now, actually. I shouldn't be stopped here because someone will eventually come, but we're pretty far north. Uh, we're actually here really early, like it's 3.30 and we're only half an hour away from the end. <laughs> All of us could easily just go home today. Look at that beautiful bike though. All of us could easily just go home. <laughs> um, it's a quiet bit of. Yeah, it was cold this morning. It's gonna be very cold tomorrow morning. But we are uh, having a good time. They're probably waiting for me now, so I should go pee and then join them. Oh, wow. What happened there? Just being myself. It's your first... I know, it's oh, dirty I'm now. Look bike at in that. a while. Go stand next to your bike real proud. The that was a fast yeah. ride. Yeah. Really, like, we just left the house a few minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Adam and uh, Jesse, just get in there with him. So there's no other cars here. You could ride it as long as you weren't aggressive with the tires or. It's like a it's 60 second ride. Down. Yeah. right there and we left uh, one thing I wouldn't do is take a picture of it and publish it so. where we left earlier oh, we're right on there
And uh, that night we stayed in Colebrook, New Hampshire at the Black Bear Lodge. Had dinner there. Tons of fun. Um, drank. I think I had four Founders Porters, which was uh, quite a bit. Not you, Porter. Porter's listening to me. His ears perked up. Uh, had some Porters and had some brownies. It was a, it was a good night. We had fun. Um, in bed by like 10 and then up again around 7. It was 36 degrees, so I convinced the guys to like... Let's take our time. Let's get a full breakfast. Just really chill out. I think we left Colebrook around 9.30 or 10 when it was already about 48 degrees, which is more tolerable. We weren't wearing heated gear or anything. I don't have heated grips on this thing. So um, Scott and his dad went to Mount Washington, which I think is insane because it was like negative 10 degrees wind chill. I wasn't sure if it was working or not. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah. Be safe tonight. Yeah. One more night of quiet solitude. And, and yeah. after all, you loved all that shit. Yeah. So you might as well use it. This is it for camping. Yeah. So, if you miss a turn, by the way, I'll just stop and wait for you. Huh? If you miss a turn, I'll just stop and wait for you. Well, that's where it's getting busy. I've got it in my ear, you know, the navigation. So. Are you going ahead? You sure? Huh? No, I'll, I'll be behind you. Sorry, I didn't want to talk over people there. It was like 10 degrees, wind, negative 10 degrees wind chill at the top of Mount Washington, and Scott and his dad went up there on the KLR and the Versus. Uh, Jesse left us, and he went uh, camping. It's his last night of camping for the year, so he was camping in the middle of the woods. I don't know where he went, but he was camping somewhere, just sort of alone, just chilling. And then uh, Jim and I, on, he's on the GSA. We rode back. We did some ATV trails on the way back, which is a separate video if you guys want to see it. So uh, this is us in Colebrook, and just... Long, long, long day. I think we did like 280, 290 miles that day. I think gave him good service. There was five guys. I didn't think it was big enough. Thank you. And there's four schools. Oh, the beach weather. There you go, Adam. Beach <laughs> weather. This is pretty much it. This is uh, Jim and I heading back home. Uh, he's about 30 miles or so west of me, so we, we paired up and uh, had some good fun on some trails. I'll make that a separate video, but this was an um, awesome time, and I'd like to make it an annual tradition. It was a ton of fun. I'd like to do it again next year. Thanks for watching, everyone, and rock on.